welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. Oh God, if you do, I promise I will never ever do that again. Don't, don't disconnect. I, I promise you, I will never do that again. Yeah, didn't think that out in my head before I did that. First thing I want to do is say, hey, Stevie, how are you today? Um, for those of you who don't know, Stephen is my youngest brother. And um, I like to say hi to him on every show. I'm just adjusting the camera. So please be patient with me. And now I'm just adjusting my bangs. Okay. All right, everybody. So the first thing we're going to do is two clearings. Two, uno, dos. Uno, dos. Only Spanish I know. I also know trace, but I don't think I say it correctly. So there's that. Okay. The first clearing is going to be just we are clear. I get a no, so we're going to start clearing that. We are unclear. We're going to start clearing that. And then the second one is we are motivated. Oh, we are motivated. I get a no. Let's clear that. And then we are, we're stuck. We're just stuck. There's something keeping us stuck. I get a yes, and let's clear that. Now, that's a lot of energy. If you feel it, please let me know. If you're on YouTube wa watching me, let me know if you feel that. If you're on YouTube watching me, say hi. If you're not on YouTube watching me, get on YouTube. Let's go. Join the party on YouTube. If you'd like to call in because you have a question about life, love, career, finances, what's going on in this big, beautiful world that we live in, Call in 845-277-9131. Go ahead, give me a call. Ask your question. If you want to connect with a loved one on the other side, ch -ch -ch. call in, give me their first name, their relationship to you, and I'll be happy to help you connect with that loved one on the other side. If you have a specific question or information you would like from that loved one, please make sure you include that when you give me their name. And um, their relationship to you, just like that, gone, just like that. So a couple of people have been reaching out and concerned. Um, it seems more and more people are very lethargic and unable to get their motivation back up. And I'm going to give you guys the things I use. I am not a doctor. I do play a nurse every once in a while. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Ignore that. Oh, I don't. Maybe. I'm so sorry. I hope everybody's laughing. Thank you, Heather. I love you. Heather's laughing. Fawn is laughing. You guys get me, right? You know. You know. Okay. Oh, it took like three minutes for the show to go south, right? Yes. Okay. So back, back to this. A few things that I am going to tell you and that I use to try to keep me in a, um, it, it keep me a little uh, healthier. Um, the first thing is apple pictine. Now you don't have to use this brand, but apple pictine is really good to help cleanse toxins and stuff out of the body. Um, this I love, Omni Blue Ocean Minerals. That's what I was talking about, Heather. Um, we don't get minerals from our soil or our food any longer. So minerals, whether you do sea moss or whatever you do, minerals are so important for us at this time. Um, this one is iodine. So with this 5G, 5G is great right? We all want faster internet, faster movies to be connected in the middle of the woods, but they had to put up a lot of towers. And what we don't realize is 5G is radiation, straight up radiation. Um, the place radiation absorbs into the fastest is our thyroid. Iodine will help with that. I'm not a doctor by any means, iodine. A couple drops in your water all day, all day long. Chlorophyll. Um, I think if I remember correctly, this chlorophyll just takes two. It's so super concentrated. I've had this for like years and there's still so much in it. Um, 
it takes like one drop and it clears um, heavy metals, I believe, out of the body and toxins out of the body. And then there are some other things like burdock root and um, bladder rack. And these are one of my favorite things. Now, everybody's using Bluetooth and have that right at their ears. It's pulling it right into your brain. Go old school, folks. Go old school. And the longer you can make this, the better. Okay, that's it for that. I am going to be taking callers in a moment. I want to thank everybody on um, YouTube with me. And I, folks, if you're new to the show, I'm, I would like to apologize in advance. Because <laughs> I think I'm funny and I have to sing a lot on the show. <laughs> Neither of those things are true talents of mine. <laughs> okay. Um, if you are on YouTube, joining us every Monday and Wednesday at noon central, uh, say hi. I'd love to say hi back to you. We have Caroline, Heather, Steve, trying to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Uh, oh, fun. Uh, I think there was somebody else and I'm sorry. Terry, Terry is on here too. Yep. I think that's everybody. Okay. When I call your area code, please, first and foremost, take me off of speakerphone, take me off your car phone, um, just for the audio uh, to to be, to have much clearer audio. I already have to use my phone on speakerphone and it's going through another speaker. So um, let's try to keep the audio as clean as possible. Also tell me where you're calling from and your name and then your exact question and or um, connection you would like to make. Here's what happens. And when I'm talking to somebody and I can pretty much get into, I don't want to say I get into your energy, your angels get into your energy and they're going to, the more focused you are on what you want to know, the faster and the easier it's going to be for me to give you that very accurate answer. If you're kind of just like, oh, just tell me whatever, whatever's going to come in and then it might not seem like as good of an answer. So let's be really precise about what we want today. Um, that will just help everybody. There was one more thing I wanted to say, and I know if I don't say it, I'm going to have to say it later on. And I don't want to say it later on. I want to say it now. Oh, if you're in the Florida area, I'm going to be in Florida in December. So we can set up appointments, in-person appointments in Florida. Okay, for the exact timing on that, you can reach out to me and let me know. I'll be happy to share that information with you. Okay, if you have not called in for a question, 845-277-9131. If, if you can't call in today and you want to call in in the future, please write that number down. Now, I, I want to say that is not... Oh, Fawn, you're in Tampa. That's where I'm going to, I think that's where I'm going to be. Um, I want to say that is not the number you call for personal readings. The number that you call for personal readings is 414-897-2869. Or you go to my website, uh, www.tonig.info. I will never reach out to anybody to get a reading on social media. So please know that, okay? We're going to go to the very first caller, who is 904. 904, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, this is Wendy calling from Florida. Oh, hey, Wendy. Uh, how can I help you today? I wanted to know, um, I put in a couple of applications, and I want to know, am I going to get a call anytime soon? In regards to my seal. Okay. Um, mm, I, I hear yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. I feel, Wendy, I'm going to be honest. I feel like you need to put in quite a few applications, and I feel like you need to go outside of your field. I feel like there is something. You know, and I know I say this to a lot of people, and I do happen to be one of those weirdos that believes everybody would do really well if they own their own business because we're here to be free and 
create and design and do whatever we do. Um, Wendy, I do believe that there's something that's going to be coming in for you that is going to help you really push ahead or pull ahead, however you would want to say that. I believe it's going to come in within a month. Um, I believe I hear the word company. So I do believe this is something you're going to be doing for a company. I do believe you are going to be getting, yeah, you're going to be getting brought into a company in about a month's time. Has she already applied for this? No, you have not applied for this position yet. Uh, I feel like you, when they say tomorrow, it means like within the week, I'm going to say within the week. Um, I feel like whatever this position is, you're going to, they're saying tomorrow, but please give it a call. Do, <clears throat> I, I do feel like you do need to uh, reach out directly to the companies. Re I mean, stay with whatever um, formats you're currently using, but I do think you need to look at company websites also. And I feel like one of those company websites is going to hit for you. Excuse me. I also feel like you're going to get two offers, two offers, one in a month and one in approximately a month and one in a month and a half. So you might have been in the interviewing process and, and not heard back from a company yet. It might just take them a little longer. I feel like one of the offers is going to come in in four weeks and one of them is going to come in in between the fifth and sixth week. So I do feel like you are going to get two offers, but you're already going to have accepted one. If the second offer is better, girl, take it. Take it. Okay. Um, companies are, we have to be loyal to ourselves. We have to, when it comes to looking for a position, we have to be more like men and not be like women. And the, what I mean by that is men are always business oriented. They're like, what's the bottom line? And us women have to start being like, what's the bottom line? We don't take our emotions to work. Our, our emotions are for our family, our friends, and uh, for our lo undercover lovers, I'm joking. <laughs> no undercover lovers, folks. Um, we we need we need our emotions in our private life, not in our professional life. And if we haven't even really started a position yet, we don't have loyalty. Um, we we have loyalty to ourselves, our bank accounts, and to our survival and moving forward. So please make sure that you are um, thinking that way when these offers come in, because I think you're going to want the second offer more than you want the first offer. Just make sure, again, you're keeping your emotions out and you're making a very practical choice. I do feel like both of these positions are going to be listed either toward the end of this week or this weekend, you're going to find them. One of them is going to be a repost, something that maybe they had posted before and they took the posting down and, and now it's up again for whatever reason. Um, I do think, again, go to company websites. I think if you think about what you do, and where you would really want to do that, that's the route that you need to go. Or what company you would really want to do that for, that's the route you really need to go. Um, I also feel like there is something you're going to be doing. There's something you're going to be doing on the side, aside from whatever job you're going to be getting. And I don't know, okay, you can laugh at me. It's okay. Everybody does all the time. I just think it's because I'm funny. They're just laughing at me because I'm ridiculous. Um, I am hearing one of two things, and I'm not even sure I'm getting this word correctly. So please, um, I'm either hearing bread, not like bread like money, but bread like bread that we eat or braid. So uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> One of those two things is something I think you can, I hear the word coin. So bring in some money on. I do not either. You really like you some bread. You can really break you some, bake you some bread 
or you know how to do some hair. I don't know which one it is, but whichever one it is, um, I think that there is something you can do on the side with that. Okay, love? Okay. I, I hope okay. <laughs> I hope this made sense to you. And I'm really, really, really going to tell you to please um, look at, again, look at company websites. I feel like you're going to find, they keep saying tomorrow. I feel like it's going to be uh, possibly by Monday. I always like to give just a little extra time, um, just like that, okay. just in case. Okay, love? Okay, thank you. You are so welcome, and I hope you have an amazing rest of the day. Please do call back and let us know how everything turns out, okay? You as well. Thank you so much. Yeah, you as well. Thank you. Thank you. Um, bye for now. I'm going to go directly to 860. 860, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Lisa Marie. I'm calling from Connecticut. Thank you. You are welcome. And did Hello? you, I'm sorry, can you please repeat your first name for me? I'm moving to another spot in the kitchen. It's a wall phone, but it's a funny phone. Oh, I love that. I love that. Um, my mom's anniversary of going to heaven is coming up, and I was hoping for a message from her. Okay, what's her first name, love? Oh, sorry, Joanne. Jo Joanne? J-O-A-N-N? -N? Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay. Say okay. Yes. Okay. So the first thing I'm hearing when I'm tapping into you and her together is the song, um, I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. I'm so sorry. I know this is such a serious song, and I'm trying to kind of be a little funny with it because I cannot sing. I know you were something leaving me so leaving me so I don't know all the words to that song, but I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. So um, that's the first song that comes through. So either that's a confirmation that she knows that's how you feel or that song had some kind of meaning with her and you. But one way or another, that song is the first thing that she is bringing through. The second thing that she would say to you is there's also an elder woman here. And that elder woman, now I, I see some, I hear some, and I sense some. The elder woman, I can see her face a little bit. And she has um, a, a shorter hair and a little bit more of a round face with fuller cheeks. Um, I'm going to say she was probably a grandmother. I don't feel like she was an aunt. I, she could have been. I don't know. She could have been an older aunt. But I feel like she may have been a grandmother. And she was probably a little bit fuller at one point in her life. Fuller being like, you know, even though they're on the other side, I don't like to use the words like stocky or anything like that. Just a little fuller, like a grandma body, like that fuller grandma body. Um, the two of them are together, whomever this is to your mom. And keep in mind, this could be your mom's grandmother also, if she was really close to her grandmother. I'm going to tell you that the two of them together are saying, um, it's time for you to move forward. It's time for you to move on. Uh, take those steps you need to take. Don't don't procrastinate. Don't put, don't put all, and they're, they're literally showing me and this, they're, they're saying, don't put all your eggs in one basket, but then they're showing me like an Easter basket with, or like a basket just with eggs in it. Okay. And they, they are saying that it's, um, it's time for you to get up and get going, get moving. Now, you will know better than anybody what this means for you as far as uh, get up and get moving. This might mean, um, you know, you need to get moving towards work or towards a toward whatever it is. You're going to know, or maybe it just means you need to get, get to the gym. I don't know. I'm just saying, they're saying, um, don't procrastinate. Don't put this off any longer, whatever it is. And they are confirming to me that you know 
exactly what they're talking about, you know that what they're speaking about when they're saying, don't procrastinate, don't put this off any longer. Moving out, they know that I have to wait for money from a lawsuit to be able to leave. Mm, okay, so what? maybe what they're talking about is um, start, even if you can't leave right now, um, to start looking so that when you can, it's like ready, set, go, ready, set, go. And then, and then they're saying this to me. One of them is saying, if there was no lawsuit, would you stay stuck the rest of your life? So find a way where there isn't a way. Find a way where you, okay, thank you for correcting that. Find a way where you think there is not a way because there's a way. Um, there's a way. And they want you to be out, be gone. Okay, so the way they're saying it is get uh, get out or be gone before, uh, like before the, before the money hits the bank. You need to be out before the money hits the bank. You need to be out before the money hits the bank. You need to be completely outside of the the grips outside of the hold of this before you get the uh, uh maybe that's why okay so i'm gonna tell you something from what i'm understanding here right here right now what they're saying to you and the feeling that i'm getting and i know this is not as easy as they make it sound i understand that maybe the lawsuit hasn't settled maybe the money hasn't come in because if you stay where you are, that money will be com like taken over, com not confiscated, but taken over and you still won't be able to go. And then you won't have your eggs, ne eggs nest, your egg nest, nest egg, eggs nest to move on. So they need you to be um, like get up and gone before, as soon as you're get up and gone, even if it's in like a... Um, even if it's like in a place that isn't like a permanent space, like the, the least expensive, but safe, but safe space room that you can rent, um, then it will come forward because I feel like one has to happen for the other where you think this has to happen for you to get there. They're like, no, you have to do this for this to come in. Oh, does that make sense? Whew. Huh. Ooh. Yeah. Okay, please. Even if you just have to find a room to rent with somebody for until it comes. I leave the house. In. I leave the house. I'm sorry. I leave the house. The lawyers told me he will get the house. So no, not in a court of law. Not in a court of law. And once you leave, you do a um, you file a um, it's not quite a restraining order but it's a restraining order it's like a restrain like no communication sort of thing so they know you left for your safety does that make sense to you okay. it doesn't have to be a full-on restraining order but you do have to go Thank you. you have to go and you have to oh, okay so what i'm hearing is you have to work with okay Work with a woman's organization. There are a lot of abuse organizations and abuse is not only physical abuse, emotional abuse, psychological abuse, mental abuse. They are all abuse also. And work with a woman's organization um, or an abuse organization. They will help you find a space and then you will be on record that this is why you left. So it's not abandonment of property. It's not abandonment of the relationship. And it will protect you and all of your rights in a court divorce action. It will be ordered, sold, and split appropriately if he can't give you half of the equity or the value. So please 
You know, I sound so smart, folks. This is all channeling, just so you know. I do not know law this well, so please check your own state for what's going on in your state and how this would work. This is what I'm getting for her. It may or may not apply to you. But for you, sweet girl, God bless you, Tony. find a woman's organization that will help you get into a safe space, and then you'll be on record as to why why you had to go and what you had to do. Oh, okay, sweetie, I love you so much. I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much, Tony. God bless you. God bless thank you, thank you. God bless you. I love you too. Thank you. God bless you too. And please do call back in if you have more questions or you need more help, okay? Thank you so much. You are welcome. I'm going to go to the very next caller who is 911. I want to say hi to Yvonne and Shally, Chally or Shally. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Um, thank you guys so much for joining us here today. 911. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, my name is Sandra K, but I go by my middle name K and I'm calling from Georgia. Oh, I love Georgia. Oh, how can I help you today, beautiful? Hi. Thank you. Um, I have a question similar to the first call. I I am when am my when is that new um job coming through that one is for my greatest and highest good. I'm applying, uh ha had a couple of interviews, nothing's worked out. Um, but I'm just trying to stay prayerful. Do you see it coming? Yes. Okay, I do. And for you and the first caller and anybody else looking for work, I'm going to do a clearing right now. There's something stopping or blocking us from getting uh, the right job. I get a yes. We're going to clear that to a no. Okay, so here's what I'm, and for you and anybody else listening, re-listening, all oh, magic is next to water space. It's been cleared. Let's clear all of that now. You might feel this pulling like from the depth of like what they're calling your gut or your chest area and just pulling stuff out. Yeah. This is yeah. for you, everybody listening. You know, I don't know if people believe in magic, curses, hexes, voodoo spells, witchcraft, ruhaha, or any, or of the like. But every once in a while, we need to clear this out because when people say and or do intentions towards us, whether they're good, bad, or indifferent, it can affect and manipulate our energy. And that's basically what we're pulling out right now. Even my head is getting clearer as I clear that one. And I love clearing that one mm. because there's a lot of envious, jealous, hating, but hating butt people <laughs> out there. <laughs> a lot of butt hurt people. People running these streets up out here. Don't don't worry about where we are. You just go do if if people focused as much on themselves as they do on us, could you imagine what their lives would look like, girl? Oh, I'm just saying, you go do you and you let us do us. Please. I want to thank every single person who has called in today. I want to thank every single person who has listened and watched. I want you to know that you are so incredibly loved. Please know how loved you are. Until Monday, um, have an absolutely phenomenal rest of the day and a beautiful weekend. Thank you.